Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, it's Pilot 2K7, back with another Grand Auto 5 real life mod video. Welcome back, guys. So today, we are actually using a truck that we have not used in probably over a year, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy actually two trucks. But the first one is going to be our 2016 Dodge Ram 1500. So this one is a 1500. We don't get to use it too much since it's not like, you know, one of our heavy duty trucks. So we do haul a lot of heavy stuff most of the time, but this thing is awesome. Let me know if you guys would like to see us using this uh, Ram 1500 some more but right now we just picked up this forklift um, we got it on our trailer we're gonna head over to the new the new lot and actually even show you guys what we did with the new lot either so let's get ready to head over there so you guys can see the new update but anyway guys yeah this Ram this Ram is really nice beautiful interior I feel bad using this as a work truck honestly it's so nice so anyway we just picked this forklift up from the old construction shop. Um, it's still our current construction shop, but we built a new yard and we have a new construction shop, which is what we're going to be um, heading to right now. So let's go ahead and uh, get over there. It's actually pretty close, so it shouldn't take us too long. And in the meantime, guys, if you guys do enjoy this episode, do me a favor. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you are new and also leave some comments down below as well if you guys are enjoying the real life mod series and also if you guys have any ideas that we could do in the real life mod as well so we're gonna go ahead and just work our way through these traffic you guys are gonna see new cars there goes a Honda Odyssey right there so we do have a lot of new uh, vehicles in the game as well and here it is right on our left guys so this is going to be our new shop let's go ahead and turn in <laughs> don't mind the excavator i saved it with the arm down but it must have reloaded with the arm up so we'll uh we'll put that we'll put that um back down there but yeah guys welcome to the new shop here uh, we got some of our construction equipment on this side of town, and then the rest of our construction equipment is still down by the docks. But we definitely did have to expand, so we did a good job uh, po uh, picking this lot and then setting it up, and it looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think about that down below. So uh, let's park up this for now. Uh, that Ram 3500 is going to be what we're going to be using today. It just disappeared because the LODs aren't the best on it, but it's still it's still good as long as we're close to it. Uh, we may have to do a little bit of rearranging. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging. You know what? I think we're okay for now. Let's just park this right here for now. So, what we're going to be driving is the Ram 3500 today. We're going to be using that big trailer. So, we got to get the forklift off. And actually, let me explain what we're doing today, guys. We're actually going to be um, fixing some of the concrete barriers on the interstate today guys so we have some replacement barriers here we're going to use a forklift to pick these up put them on the trailer and then the 3500 is going to pull all of these uh, concrete barriers plus the forklift to the highway and then we're going to go ahead and set them down and um fix the highway pretty much so you guys know along the highway there's been a lot of accidents and a lot of the concrete actually has been broken and damaged and needs to be replaced so that's what we are going to be doing today so uh let me head inside real quick talk to uh jessica see what's going on all right so we have some of our guys clocking in getting to work what's going on jess we got anything new going on any new contracts Perfect, perfect. Okay, make sure you get the guys out on all of those jobs as soon as possible. I'm going to be heading out to uh, I'm gonna be at Interstate 4 today if you need me, so just hit me up if anything. Alright, cool. So let's get back outside. Alright guys, so like I said, we got a couple different things to do today. We're going to have to move this over. Um, we should probably move that first. We're going to have to unload the forklift, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and hop in. <laughs> really bro let's try to oh my goodness I'm about to die trying to get into this forklift <laughs> yo I really can't get in right now let me try walking around on this side okay let's try that again so now we're gonna go ahead and get into the forklift <laughs> You guys see sometimes things do not go as planned. Alright, so this forklift is pretty cool. 
This is actually from Coastal Callouts, and I'm going to explain what we could do with this forklift here in a second. So, this is not the normal GTA forklift. This is actually a modded one. And with this forklift, my goodness, we're off to a terrible start. With this forklift, we're actually able to pick stuff up. So, we're going to be able to pick up these barriers and then place them onto the trailer over there let's just bring the trailer a little bit closer and we'll start working on that so if you guys would like this forklift that has the um pretty much the, the script built into it with coastal callouts definitely check out coastal callouts it's linked down below in the video description so anyway let's go ahead and jump into the ram let's get this trailer attached so we're gonna use a pj trailer and i feel like we should spin around but there's no space to spin around, so we're just going to line up like this. Should be okay. So what do you guys like better, the 1500 or 3500? Like, model-wise, they both look really good. The only problem with the 3500, it just disappears when we're, like, far away from it. That's the only bad thing about it. But other than that, that's good. It is good. So let's park this right here for now. And let's start... Let's start, um loading up these concrete barriers onto the trailer. Alrighty. Alright guys, so again we're gonna use coastal callouts here to go ahead and lift this up. So let's go ahead and get under it and we're gonna go ahead and attach and we'll lift it up and we'll spin it around and we'll put it onto the trailer. We don't have much space to work with right here, so we gotta be careful. Make sure we don't knock out this super duty. Make sure we don't hit this employee right here. But yeah guys, hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys hit the like button. And this is a pretty cool feature that I don't really think anybody has really done before too, so make sure you guys like it up for that. And you know what? We may not be able to reach the other side. Maybe we could push it. Let's try to set it down and see if we could push it over a bit. I don't know how many we're going to be able to fit on here. So I'm going to go ahead and detach. So it is now on the trailer. And then we're going to go ahead and see if we could... Alright. Let's see, I think that's about as far as we can push it. So we may be able to use the next one to push it a little bit further. So like I said, I figured that would be a pretty cool feature that most of you guys haven't seen before. So I figured you guys would enjoy it. Uh, what the heck happened here? This one looked like it flipped over. You know what? Let's uh, delete this little part right here. And oops, there we go. All right, so let's just grab the next one. Now the cool thing about this forklift, we could use it to lift up just about anything in the game, like object-wise. So if you guys have any other suggestions on things, we could load onto trucks or load into trailers and anything, any type of cargo we could do, definitely let me know. Definitely do an episode on it if I'm able to. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and drop this right on here. I think we could fit one more if we just push them all down properly. So let's go ahead and just set this down. And right, we're just going to try to push it now. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so I think we could get one more down, so we'll drop that there. Let's try to see if we could do one in first person. It'd be cool if we had like more forklifts and stuff too, like more types of uh, equipment, but this is all we got. So we got him. Oh, I cannot see right now. I can't see a thing at all. Alright, we're going to have to go back to third person. I feel like I nearly took this guy head off with this thing swinging it around like this. I wonder how much these things weigh. These things are probably heavy. 3,500 can handle it though, hopefully. Guess we'll find out. Alright. 
Alrighty. Let's see, I think we could push them over just a little bit. I feel like this is all gonna break. I shouldn't. You know what? I'm not even gonna push it. I'm not gonna push it. Let's just leave it right there. I feel like something bad is gonna happen. So let's get like maybe three more, and I think we should be good. And we should have enough space to still fit the. Wow, uh, you know what? We may not have enough space to fit the forklift. Hey. Alright, if we can't fit the forklift, we'll just tell one of our drivers to follow us in the. I guess we'll bring the other ram, maybe. But I think we could fit everything on here. Or you know what? Maybe if we. Um, let's see, let's put this down. Maybe we could bring five and then we'll put the forklift in the middle. Or we could probably squeeze another one on that side too. Let's try to do that, but we're gonna have to move the Chevy out the way. Cause I feel like we're gonna hit the Chevy, and we don't want to hit the Chevy. All right, so let's grab that. All right, this is gonna be really hard to not hit anything. Now, unfortunately, the ramps on this trailer do not work, so we're just going to go right through them. Oh, we kind of got enough space. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut this turn. Oh, I nearly took out the glass. Yeah, okay. Let's stop before we make things worse, guys. Let's just move the Silverado out the way, because the Silverado is about to be done if we if we mess up right here. Alright, so let's just throw this Silverado over here. And that should be fine. Perfect. Alright, uh, these guys working on some of the trucks in there a lot as well. Next van's getting worked on and the dump truck over there is also getting worked on um let's get back to this you know what i forgot we could i think we could fit one more over here yeah that's gonna be a lot of weight though i don't want all that weight on the right over there so we're just gonna put three Get the rest of the weight over the axles to help balance it out. Una mujer no debería usar pantalones, solo vestidos. Es verdad. All right. So we'll drop this one right there. And I'm hoping we could fit the the forklift in between these two concrete barriers. It's gonna be tight, but I think we could do it, guys. I think it's gonna work. I think this is all gonna work. Alright, so yeah, I think that's gonna work. So, I think we're good for now. Um, we could try to put one sideways too, but I think that's going to be too wide. So I think we're good for now. If anything, we'll just uh, get one of the guys to bring us some more. So let's go ahead and try to get this up the ramp. Now, like I said, the ramps can actually come down. So normally I like just spawn a ramp here. But you know what? Let's just do it the easy way. Let's just... Alright guys, so unfortunately the game crashed so we had to reload, but like I was saying, if you guys ever want to attach something, just make sure it's in the database first. So as you can see, the trailer is in the database, and you're going to want to click on this with your right trigger if you're using a controller, or I believe same on mouse if you're using your mouse. So right click, uh, scroll up two times to attach, attach to something, and attach. You're going to make sure you find the right thing, so we're attaching it to the trailer. And it is good to go. Um, make sure you put on keep keep world position when attaching as well. That makes it not move when you attach it. So 
always do that as well all right so anyway guys we have reloaded everything we got the truck ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and head towards the construction site now so let's go ahead and hop into the 3500 it's been a while since we used this thing hopefully you guys do enjoy this truck here so let's get the lights on and we'll try to pull forward that's gonna be a little hard to get out of here i think we have no space yeah we're good we are good okay all right let's roll let's roll there goes a dodge caravan that's another new vehicle we added in added in a ton of new vehicles the other day i'm probably gonna have to take some out because that's probably why my game is acting up there goes two mustangs over there so i'm gonna take the highway just to avoid all the lights slightly longer but it will be okay All right, so we're going to make this left turn and get on to the highway here. I just love hauling stuff with the trailers and the trucks in this game. It's so much fun. This looks awesome right here. All right, so uh, we got less than a mile to go, so it shouldn't take us too long. We'll be there any minute now. Yeah, we be driving as like a sports car. <laughs> oh, we gotta do a U-turn. I made. I missed my turn. Not paying attention. Crap. <laughs> I'm about to pull a U-turn. Oh man, I'm. I was so busy looking at the cinematic views. Oh man. Oh man, this is gonna be dangerous, but we gotta do it. YOLO! YOLO! Okay, oh! Shoot, I didn't think we were gonna hit it. Okay, that was extremely unrealistic. You guys did not see that part, don't mind that. Oh, we gotta come back here, actually, look. That part of the um, highway is not correct either. That part is broken there. But, that part isn't as bad. We gotta make sure we fix the part up here because Somebody could literally fall right off of the highway at this part. You guys are going to see here in a moment as we get ready to pull up on scene. So we should have uh, DOT should be on scene as well as another one of our construction trucks should be on scene as well. And it looks like they got the message board truck up, which is pretty awesome. Definitely let me know if you guys would like us to use the message board truck in some more videos like as um, responding to scenes with it and stuff like that. Let me know. But I can see the arrow. Got some cones down, and uh, let's see what we got going on. All right, so right lane is closed and left arrow, perfect. So we got the DOT truck out, and then we also have one of our construction trucks out, one of the supervisor trucks. Some of our guys are already here. So we're gonna try to replace this concrete barrier, guys. Uh, I think this is gonna be really cool. I haven't really saw anybody do anything like this before, so I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So let's go ahead and we got to park up as close to this side as possible because we don't want to get hit. All right, so that should be good there. All right, perfect. So hopefully traffic does not hit us. We got one lane shut down. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start loading up these concrete barriers and see if we can replace this area. What's going on, guys? Yeah, there was an accident here a couple uh, a couple of days ago, so we're finally... Actually, it was a couple weeks ago now, but we're finally replacing this thing. So, obviously, this isn't safe. If another vehicle happens to go off the road here, they'll pretty much... Uh, yeah, they could potentially die, and they could land down there and kill somebody, kill themselves, so... We're gonna make sure that we replace this barrier. So first thing first, um, let's get on here and start detaching everything. Let's get into the forklift first. All right, guys. So we got the forklift unloaded. Got the lights turned on. Let's go ahead and start unloading the trailer now. Now traffic is gonna be a pain because they're just 
behaving really crazy right now, and I wish we could shut down another lane, honestly. Alright, so first thing first, let's go ahead and disable the fork collisions. Oh man, this is dangerous. We're gonna definitely have an accident here, but oh, this green car is about to drive off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy, guys. So let's lift this one up. Okay, we got it. Oh, this charger, man. Okay, I think we're gonna have to turn traffic off because I feel like not only are these guys gonna crash into me, but they're gonna make my game crash too. <laughs> Alright, let's put down this first one here. Yo, imagine if we drove too far forward and we just like crashed, like went off the edge. That would suck. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and put this down. We're gonna connect it right to that old one. And I think right here should be good. Yeah, that should be good. So let's go ahead and place it. Kind of moved a bit. All right, so what we'll do, we'll place it and we'll use menu to like kind of adjust it a little bit more. So let's grab the next one. Now, like I said, guys, I don't want the game to crash, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn traffic off. Because I just feel like traffic's going to hit us. They're going to make something bad happen. And I just I just don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> we already crashed one time today. We don't need to crash again. Oh. Alright, we gotta fix this one. I forgot it kind of drops weird on the trailer. I think it's because we're on the highway. I don't really know. Alright, so let's reset that. Right there. Alright. Yeah, the, with traffic whizzing by us so fast, and they don't even slow down, even with the message board truck, they're still hauling by at, like, so fast. I mean, I technically could put a road restriction down and make them come by, like, 20 miles per hour. I don't know. Maybe we'll turn traffic back on. We'll see what happens. So let's place the next one. My game's kind of tweaking out a little bit. Alright, if you guys do like these type of construction videos when I do cool stuff like this, definitely let me know by leaving a comment down below in the video description. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're going to have to just fix that too. At least it didn't fall off. It was about to fall off. Alright, so I think we're going to need two more. I was hoping we'd only need three. So we may have to go back to the shop to get some more. It's kind of tricky to place these things too because it's like this, I don't know what this is, like in the middle of this, like is it sand or what? I wish we could clean that up. That's kind of making everything just lean forward. See? See what I mean? Oh, no, 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 no. Woo! Okay. So we're going to have to use menu to fix all of this, but it's okay. At least we got to pick it up and drop it off. That's the main thing I wanted to do. Alright, so last one. This should should work. Okay. All right. So again, we'll use a uh, menu to kind of just oh, just kind of adjust this a little bit here. So we're gonna have to kind of manually do this, which is okay. So let's leave that here for now, and let's go ahead and bring up menu, and let's. I guess we'll start here. Since this is the only one that came out okay. So what we'll do is maybe we should start on this side. 
Let's reset this. And let's probably put it. I think we kind of like put it like this. And then let's freeze it so it doesn't move. And we'll manually adjust it to make it a little bit better. Wow, hold up! That should be good. I want to make sure that it's flush too, so like if someone hits here and is like traveling down, they don't like just come to a complete stop. They kind of just like go with the flow. I think that should be okay. Yeah, I think that should be okay though. So that's gonna be the first one. Um, it looks pretty straight. Let's try the second one now. So reset. And we'll put this about right there. I'm gonna have to really try to like adjust all of these things too. So we're gonna freeze that and we'll manually adjust it. I'm gonna have to adjust the first one, so. Yeah, we're gonna have to adjust that first one. All right, let's grab the next one. Same thing, reset first. And we'll put this down. Alrighty, this one looks good. See how these look like almost perfectly flush? That's how we gotta make the other ones look. There we go, so that's pretty good. So yeah guys, we really putting in this work right now. Oh, we came up short. We're gonna need another one. We're gonna need one more. And we just need a little bit more. Okay, let's see if we can fix this side now. So this one, we're going to have to fix the, is it the yaw? Seems like it's tilted, but it's showing that it's not. Hmm. These things aren't leveled either. That's kind of weird. See how high this one is and then how over there it's lower? Alright, so we'll put that about like that. And... Yeah, it just isn't level. Cause see how this is leveled here? But then over here on that one, these are like way higher. It's kind of weird. So I guess we can't make it perfect. Let's see if we can move this one around. But this should be a good fix though. Good temporary fix. Keep people from falling off the highways. All right, so I think we should put just a little bit more, like one more um, barrier. 
Even though it's like really small, I don't know, we should cover it up though. It's better to be safe than sorry, so. I really don't want to waste like a whole barrier on that, but it's better to do the job right. Yeah, it's better to do the job right. So that looks okay for now. And, um, yeah. Safety first. So now if another vehicle happens to crash in the same location, they won't go pummeling down into the, um, parking lot down there. So I think our job is going to be done for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Let's go ahead and clean up shop and get back to our shop. probably turn traffic back on now too since we were able to survive so all we have to do now is just clean up and we are good to go all right guys so we're all set with that barrier is back together and uh, we're pretty much good to go so let's go ahead and make our way back to the shop the rest of the guys are gonna go ahead and finish up here all righty so let's see what's the easiest way back to our shop. Wants us to take the streets. No, we're not going to take the streets. So we'll get off the highway. We'll get back on the highway. And we'll take the highway back just to avoid the red lights. It's so much easier that way. All right, so back to the shop we go. It's crazy that there's like no intersection lights here. You just pull out into a four-way intersection. Oh, look at that Ford Explorer. It has a jet ski on top of it. Alright, so yeah, we're not taking the streets. We're going to jump back on the freeway. See how much longer it is. 1.13 versus 1.27. Not too bad. We'll make that up with the uh, without having to stop at the traffic lights. Oh, there goes some Cadillac Escalades over there, too. Alright, so there goes the scene. The rest of the guys will get all of that cleaned up. Oh, they want me to get off the highway. Now nah, we're gonna stay on the highway. We're gonna take it all the way around. Alright, guys, so we are here back at the shop. I don't know if I cut that wide enough. Hopefully we did. Okay, we got in here. So yeah, this is a lot larger of an area than our last construction shop, which is pretty cool. Once we filled it up with all of these vehicles, they got small quickly, but it's, it's still a good size. So, um... I think I'm gonna leave the forklift here. I'll probably leave this trailer here as well, and we'll jump back into the other Dodge, and then we'll head back to our main shop which is the tow shop garage so let's head back into this one we have an extra barrier so we can save that for next time let's get this thing detached and let's also detach this too sometimes I just freeze them just because sometimes they just go flying if I don't all right um damn it oh man and yeah that's what i meant when i say sometimes things go flying <laughs> oh man i'm not even gonna edit that out we're gonna leave that in uh if you do like try to do this for yourself one thing i recommend is always detach before you get in to the vehicle that's the mistake i made i detached it while i was in the vehicle that's what always screws up the collision there <laughs> so yeah guys always detach before you get into the like the vehicle so i shouldn't have gotten into the forklift that was a mistake on my part yo that was crazy Alrighty, so let's go ahead and load this one back over here. We could save it for another time since we didn't need it for today. Whoops. 
I wonder can I stack it on top of another one? I'd have to technically stack it on too, but I'm just curious to see what would happen if we try this. Oh, it stayed, what? Okay, so I'm not gonna do that because if somebody accidentally touches gonna fall and break somebody's leg. So, uh, forklift, I think we should leave the forklift here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave the forklift here. It doesn't make sense to take it back to the other shop. Alright guys, so it's been a long day. The game crashed yet again. But um, yeah, we restarted again, man. We took a lot of dedication to get this video finished today because Lord know my game was not cooperating. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave some comments down below. As always, let me know if you made it to the end of the video as well. Let's get some hype in the... Uh, video description for everybody that made it to the end and thank you guys so so much for watching to the end I appreciate that and um yeah let's see what we will do in tomorrow's episode you guys have been asking me to do another towing episode so I'll head over to the tow shop and see if we have anything going over going on over there that we could work on so last thing we got to do is just uh park up these trailers and move them out the way so I'm just gonna pull forward Almost had it perfect. Let's uh, just pull forward to line it up. And we're gonna park it right next to that Eco Beaver trailer. Alright, so that should be perfect right there. So we'll park this one up, and then I think we're gonna go ahead and move the we're gonna move the um, small trailer over here as well. I think I'll leave it here because they don't have a smaller uh, trailer here, so we might as well leave this one here. We have plenty at the other shop anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> Yo, that thing always just pops out of nowhere. I dead forgot it was there for a second. <laughs> Oh man, alright, this is going to be kind of tricky. It was just one of those days, man. Got it. <laughs> Just hitting everything. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos, some more live streams. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.